After normalizing the data, now it's time to interpolate them and see them in 3D. You can see that I've renamed that to uh, ln uh, au, which is the log of uh, au. And now we are going to use these values, these normalized values, uh, to interpolate them. Usually we would go through geostatistical analysis, some varigram modeling, and use that varigram model to do uh, trigging. But if we are going to jump into geostatistical analysis, that actually needs to be covered in a course uh, by itself, and that's going to take a, a lot of time. We might do that in the future and add this course. But for the moment, to make it easier for you to follow, guys, uh, what we can do here is use the inverse distance uh, weighting as our interpolation method and carry on with that. So uh, to do so, uh, to interpolate the values inside this grid, you just right click and you can go for varigram analysis in here and trigging later on. But we are going to use inverse distance interpolation and we are going to call this the inverse env for inverse distance but we are interpolating the log of AU. We are not interpolating the AU itself. We're interpolating the uh, normalized value of the AU. Okay, we go to next, and now we are going to make it a fixed. So the voxel size is going to be 250 meter. We can go for less if you want, but we're going to keep it 250 and click on next. We are going to call the uh, layer or the attribute inside of it to the env of log of au. And then we finish. You can see that we have a new mesh in here with uh, a grid inside of it. It's called the env log of au. You can visualize that in 3D. Go to Field Visualization Manager, View Mesh and Grids, and view that in 3D and click on OK. And you can see that we have that uh, the values interpolated and the colors actually represents uh, you know the higher values or lower values dep depends on the and uh, let's go and display the color table and you can see that we have the different values but these are I repeat that again these are the normalized value these are the inverse distance of the log of AU not the AU okay so we need to go back to the real value. So what is the function that we apply to a log in order to get back to the actual function itself? I'll let you think about it for a few seconds. Yes, some of you guessed it. It's the exponential. So what we can do now is this. We uh, go to this one and compute a new field, but this time so uh, this one we are going to sorry for that it's not like, uh, but this is where you put in the name of the grid in here we're gonna call this the env this time of AU because we are going to uh, do the exponential where is that the exponential of log of AU and uh, close that and click on OK that's the env of AU not so now let's go and remove this from the view and go to Field Visualization Manager and view that in 3D. And you can see now we have the true value of AU. Now let's go and display the color table. You can see that the values are ranging between 1 and 6.5 and that's the true values of the uh, AU. Now in the next video, we are going to see how to limit this to some domain.